how to fix the rain sensor. It's damaged. Today is going to be an interesting one. We are going to fix someone else's problem that did to our car. Without mentioning names, we have hired a company to repair or to replace the windshield for us. And by doing so, they have damaged every trim around the glass. They damaged the paint, they damaged the rubbers, as well as they have damaged the rain sensor. Can you see it here? That's the rain sensor. It's damaged. Now, not, the rain sensor itself is not damaged. The fitting to the glass that has an issue with, okay? This is the cover. It was here. It was like this. And I have removed it using my hand. You can use a screwdriver, but it's with your hands. You can just peel it off. And it comes this way. Here is a clip. One, two, three, and then a fourth one here. And here, those two, they clip behind. Okay, and those two. So basically, it's just full of clips that you need to disassemble it this way, okay? This is an automatic rain sensor. So what it does is, uh, it depends on how much it's raining outside, it decides the speed of the wiper blade, okay? I think the word for it is inter intermittent? Intermittent, yeah. Intermittent, okay. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the mirror, okay? You can do the job without removing, but I promise you, it'll be much easier to do it with. And it's super, super easy. Turn the mirror that way, okay? And then push it towards the driver. So, to right, okay? And if, when you do that, you unbuckle it from the top, like from here. Mm -hmm. Can you see? It was this way, and I moved this pillar. Can you see this pillar? With the mirror, I moved it to the right-hand side. I twisted it, okay? And that has removed the mirror. Now, there's a cable here. Can you see this cable? This cable here. There's a cable. Yes. Yes, and it has a clip. Yes. What we need to do is remove this clip, hold it, and lift it up. Can you see that? Yes. And that's it. The reason why this is not working, it needs to be fully attached to the glass to see how severe the drain drops are. Okay, yes. because remember, the more, the faster the rain or the more rainy it is outside, it will act faster mm -hmm. and not. So if I hold it, see, it stays for a little bit, but then it will fall off again, okay? Yeah. So, not only the my rain sensor has an issue, it also it has a bracket that it attached to the glass that has an issue as well. Now, can you see here, there's a small dot? Yes. That, that dot oh, here? That dot, yeah. yeah, I need to click that dot. Okay, I need to press on it. Mm -hmm. And after that, I'm gonna pull this up. Like so. Now, we need to move on to the next step. This one, okay? The way to unclip it is to move it out this way. Is that like the, the shell? Yeah, the no, sensor? that holds... That These, they hold the sensor to the, uh, the frame mm -hmm. that holds to the glass, okay? Yes. I'll show you what I mean. I need to... Remove this one Like so, okay, then I need to detach this this I need to touch this So that's what's holding the rain sensor. Yeah, yeah. now the rain sensor should come off mm -hmm. So the way the sensor work is once it's attached to the glass it sends signal from here and It comes back here. Okay, so send and receive mm -hmm. and it depends on the water drops here on on a sensor it decides what's the speed of it. Now, if there's a space, there's a space between this and the glass, then yeah. it will not detect the correct amount of uh, drops, drops or how big the drops are. Yes. Okay, so we will not decide how fast it wants to go. So next, can you see this here? I'm going to take it all out and I'm gonna reinstall it again, okay? Yeah, you can so, see there's some old glue there. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all old glue. So I'm gonna take it all out, like so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean it, okay? And then I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to remove these excess glue that they put. I don't have to remove everything, but I just want to clean it as much as possible. Something else that could help is using wiping alcohol. And if I use it on the glue, that should clean all this up. We need to make sure this is completely and 100% cleaned, okay? This is gonna take a lot of time, but we just need to be uh, absolutely sure that it is clean. Now we move on to the sensor. We need to make sure it's absolutely clean as well. Now, can you see this? You can buy this and you of these. What is the silicone? This is a silicone gel. It's called Rain Sensor Silicone Gel that can be bought separately from eBay or the internet. But since it's not damaged, we can reuse it. So it's not a problem. This provides a cushion and it's a see-through between the sensor and the glass. Can you see how thick it is? Next, we need to go and clean the glass. Okay, it's very important. So we're gonna use the same method, wiping alcohol to clean the glass. I'm going to use the razor blade to slightly and gently remove this. I'm using about 45 degrees, yeah? 
So I'm going to remove them one by one, these. Okay, we continue on cleaning. Now this bit here, uh, all needs cleaning, okay? So, be prepared, a lot of dirt is gonna come out. Make sure you get it all. Yeah. It's all old glue, yeah. we need to clean it. Be careful when you do this step, you don't wanna scratch your glass. So for this repair, I'm going to use this glue. Now this is glue, it's not expensive, okay? This is a transparent glue. Now I picked this specific glue because it's a transparent, okay? And it's a dishwasher safe, which tells me that with condensation inside the glass should work, okay? And this is a heated glass, so it should be okay because if it, can, if it does work for a dishwasher, then it's gonna work for other things, okay? These are pants that it came with. You may not have them or may have them, but the reason I, I want to put these pants back, okay, to give a gap, because if I put this one here, I'm gonna put this razor on top. Can you see the gaps? There's a gap here and there's a gap here. There's two gaps on both sides. These gaps need to be filled in. So if I put this one here, inside here, I'll be able to fill that gap. See, I'll be able to fill that gap, which is important. So I just need to remind you at this point, I'm not a professional and I'm just doing this cheaply and trying to fix it myself, basically. If you don't feel comfortable doing my steps, you do not have to do my steps. You can definitely buy new pads, you can buy new bracket, and you, need, you can buy new, uh, even rain sensor if you wanted. It, all the parts can be purchased new, um, and you can buy them from eBay, you can buy them from Amazon. I'm just trying to do it with the products that I have at home, and uh, me putting these pads back in place, like the old pads, which I am sure a lot of people would disagree with, say, why would you put the old pad back? It's damaged. Why would you do that? It's just, I'm trying to do it cheaply. I, I'm not fixing the car engine here. It's just a rain sensor. So I could be chillax about it and just do it my way and, I, you know, and, and see how it goes, really. Okay, it's important to know it's going to go this way. See these marks? They're going to go on the top, okay? Because the sensor will go inside this way. So that's how it's going to go. The well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a glue here. And not so much on the bottom, I need to be careful how much I'm going to put on the bottom. And I'll tell you why now, okay? You don't need a lot of this, by the way. Just a little bit is enough. So now that we're inside the car, I put tape here. And I put tissues here and here. The reason is because just in case if the glue drips down, I don't want it to go on the dashboard. And I don't want it to go under the uh, on the glass, okay? So I don't have to clean it later. So I'm gonna do a tape here and it will show me indication. Now the square is gonna go exactly on this place here. The bracket is gonna go exactly here. So the best thing to do is if I look directly at it from the bottom so I can be able to find the square and I can stick it down to here, okay? So let me bring the bracket and I'll stick it now. And I'm gonna look carefully so I can center it. And I'm gonna put my hands like so and I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Now that we've Hold it for 30 seconds. We leave it undisturbed for 10 minutes. Now, this is my solution. A few things about this one and why I bought this one. It's a transparent, so it's a crystal clear, okay? And it's double-sided and it's thick. Can you see how thick it is? So it's not oh, a thin yeah. tape, it's yeah, a yeah. thick tape. So it should fill, it, fill the gap between this and the glass. My plan is to put one here and one here, mm -hmm. okay? Because can you see here there are four dots and the sensor here, okay? As long as I'm in between, then mm -hmm. it should be fine. Yeah. Okay, because here in between where there's no sensors, mm -hmm. between those four dots, then it should be fine. So that's in the middle, more or less. Yeah, can you hold it for me? Yeah. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna press that in and make sure there's no bubbles. I'm gonna make sure that they don't overlap, but they're next to each other with no gaps. Mm -hmm. No gaps in between. Yeah. Like so. I'm gonna trim the excess, by the way. Next step would be to remove the, sorry, to move this, the other side and to glue it, okay? Mm -hmm. And when I do so, we cannot have bubble between here and the glass, remember, okay? Yeah. So, let's start by removing the tape. So I don't wanna put fingerprints. Okay, that's one side. Let's try the other side. Right, now that we've put it on, there's a lot of bubbles here, but I'm hoping that when I push it, all the bubbles will go away. All right, it's definitely fitting in nicely. So now, 
that this is in, we make sure there's no bubbles on the outside, okay? Next step, of course, would be to put everything back. Let's put this one back, the cable. Next, we'll have to put the mirror back. So it's the same thing, it's the opposite of how we take it out. We put this clip back in, like so. Put it back in, and we start from the driver's side, turning this one in, and we turn it towards the passenger side, like so. Now that we have put the mirror and the sensor back and the cables, we need to put this one and attach it. But I'm not going to do that because I need to just monitor the sensor to see if it's working. And if it's working, then that's perfect. Actually, while we're at it, why don't we test it first, okay? okay. Let's test it. Let's give it a test. Yeah. So you can see the microphone is not working at the moment. If I spray around the sensor, you can see what? Yes. Okay. See? Yes. So it works slowly. If I go really fast, it's supposed to be go really, really fast. So can you see? Yeah. Look, ready? Yes. Now it's going <laughs> full on. Because it thinks it's great. Can you see how fast it is? Yeah. <laughs> it's a storm. Now, if it yeah. stops, let's say the rain stops, it should automatically stop. Let's take a look. It's going to slow down. It's slowing down. And it stops. Yes. It may do one more wipe. No? 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 Oh, oh it did one yeah. more wipe. It, it did one more wipe. Okay, so. Try now again. Uh, I'm gonna try to do one more. Uh, yes. Just one more. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray one time. Nice. Oh, one time, nice. it works. Yes. That means you have success. It works. Perfect. This is truly. Truly a winter holiday. <laughs> there yes. the snow. Look at the snow. Look at the cloud there. It's such a low cloud. The snowplow is behind us somewhere. I don't know if it shows, maybe it stops a bit. Oh, there's another car coming now. There's a passing place, yeah? We have wow! Snow. Yeah, we're leaving tracks. Gosh, that's beautiful. So we are driving through the woodlands and it started snowing a bit faster. But then I, <laughs> ah, I think because of these trees, suddenly the intensity is not so much. No matter how hard my life would treat me, I'd always.